Hi everybody, Aaron here with another Microspot lesson for you, this time on how to get started in MacDraft. Getting started is quicker and easier than ever in MacDraft 6.2. When you first start up the app, you're greeted by a brand new welcome screen. Here you can choose to create a new document, open recent documents, register your product online, watch video tutorials, take a tour, see what other users are up to in our community forum, or simply contact our help and support team. So let's take a look at the new tab. MacDraft has always contained helpful templates, but we recently learned that not many of our customers knew that. So what we've done is added them all plus even more to our welcome window. You can simply start a new blank document or choose one of these templates. There are hundreds to choose from broken down into five categories, architectural, floor planning, engineering, page layouts, and illustrations. The recent tab shows you all of your recent documents. If you find yourself working on the same project for a few days, you no longer have to go through the usual file open dialogue you do in other softwares. MacDraft 6.2 puts your work right in front of you. So once you know what you want to open, you can either select it and hit the choose button, or simply double click the file. MacDraft will open the document and you'll be up and running immediately. MacDraft Professional has the ability to open DWG and DXF files. It's one of its major features and you can do this easily in the welcome screen. Click on the Open Existing button at the base of the welcome screen. Now navigate to your document and notice it's greyed out. MacDraft defaults to open MacDraft files, but you can simply change the pop-up to read DWG and the file will open smoothly. So now you know how to get started in MacDraft and it's time to begin your first project. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in the next Microspot lesson.